Welcome back, Canaanites, for a little theory crafting. As y'all are likely aware, I recently started my in-depth breakdown of Halo Infinite's campaign. However, even within the scope of that series, I won't have time to neatly address every detail that will come up for any number of reasons. So, alongside the breakdown series and in between episodes, I'll be producing theory craft and lore videos like this that explore certain ideas in more depth. And to kick the series off, we'll be starting with a look at Spartan Locke and Spartan Killer Hyperius. Back in 2020, before we knew much of anything about Halo Infinite's plot, fans were eager for new information, seeking out leaks wherever possible. Among those was a discovery of a brute known as Hyperius, and fans immediately took note of a certain feature on his armor, what appeared to be the helmet of Spartan Jameson Locke. Sure, this could be a random hunter-class Mjolnir helmet, but that armor is pretty synonymous with Locke. To make a long story short, 343 quickly came out and explained that toys wouldn't contain spoilers for the game, and while many didn't take that to heart, it ultimately proved true when Halo Infinite finally released. While Hyperius still sports the Hunter helmet and even a chess piece on his shoulder in the final game, there's no further evidence that he and Locke ever met. Additionally, the second audio log for Infinity's approach reveals that Locke was already off-ship when Infinity was ready to deploy against Cortana. Spartan Locke is already well underway with the next stages of Breaker Trip, but each time out, I wonder if we've pressed our luck too far. It's fairly evident that Locke was not on Infinity from that alone, but I know some people will almost certainly bring up another clip from the audio logs, which also mentions Locke. We are at war, Master Chief. If you do not think you can do this, now is the time to step down. I'm sure Spartan Locke is available. That won't be necessary. Keep in mind, this second clip is still set a day before the operation against Cortana. By the day of the operation, Locke had been deployed and was no longer on the ship. Thus, we can say with a high degree of confidence that Locke and Hyperius did not meet on Zeta Halo. Of course, the banished attack on the Infinity occurred over a year into the created conflict, leaving a lot of potential time for Locke and Hyperius to have met. If Hyperius is indeed wearing remnants of Spartan Locke's armor, the time between Halo 5 and Halo Infinite is when that encounter would have happened. Interestingly, the audio logs indicate that the mission Locke has been deployed for, Operation Breaker Trip, is a multi-part operation, Lasky referring to this latest mission as simply the next stages. Perhaps it was an earlier part of Operation Breaker Trip where Locke and Hyperius met, and while Locke clearly escaped with his life, he may not have escaped with his armor intact. Alternatively, it's entirely possible that Hyperius and Locke never met at all, while I have little doubt that the armor Hyperius Sports was once worn by Locke, it's possible that the armor pieces were in storage on the Infinity, and Hyperius found them among the debris that crashed on Zeta Halo. Though of course, it's always possible as well that this armor isn't Locke's at all, coming from some other incident that we have no knowledge of at the moment. However, until we hear from 343 on the matter, I'd like to imagine that Locke and Hyperius met during an earlier stage of Operation Breaker Trip, and that Hyperius, perhaps with help from his brother Tovaris, managed to rip a few pieces of Mjolnir from Locke. And hopefully, if we ever get some Locke or Fireteam Osiris DLC, we might get some insight into those events. By the way, as I'm sure there are people curious about this at this point, we don't have any information on Operation Breaker Trip or what it involves. I've speculated on it lightly in the past, but ultimately we'll have to wait for a future story to find out. Hopefully in the form of Halo Infinite campaign DLC and not relegated to a book. Bastion. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this brief video. What do you think happened between Hyperius and Locke, or do you think they even met at all? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Thank you once again for watching Cannonites. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, maybe even share it around, both of which help the channel. And if you aren't subscribed already, consider becoming a fellow Canonite and hitting that notification bell so you won't miss any future videos. Halo Canon now has a Discord server, which you can find linked in the description box below. If you like discussing any aspect of Halo's lore, well, that's what we specialize in. Thank you all once more, and keep on being awesome.